guys, welcome back to my channel. A long time, a no see. This month of January has been a no buy for me. Um, my husband and I just renewed our mortgage for another three years on our apartment. So really a lot of our time and our money has been going into sort of revamping our apartment and just out with the old, in with some new. And with that being said, I was looking at my bag collection the other day and there's this one bag I just don't use, <laughs> but it's still in my collection. And typically if there's um, a handbag that I don't use, I just sell it and I get rid of it. But for some reason I cannot get myself to sell this bag. So I'm going to show you the bag in just a couple seconds. I'm going to let you know why I don't use it and why I actually regret buying it. Um, in case you're thinking about buying it, or maybe you're on the fence like me about this bag. Um, you can let me know your insights about it. So without further ado, let me show you what handbag it is. It's by Louis Vuitton, and it's this one here. And this is the Speedy Bandoulier, or Speedy B, in the size 25. I have mine in the monogram, which is my favorite canvas, to be completely honest. I love the monogram, I love the look of it. Um, I bought this in March of 2018, so that makes it about two years since I've had this handbag. And I can tell you I have probably used it in those two years less than 10 times. Definitely less than 10 times, in between five and 10, I would say. So let's just go with seven, let's just average it. Probably use this seven times. So over two years, that's like four times a year, three and three and a half times a year, you know what I mean? Um, and there's just, there's just certain reasons why I don't use it. And to be honest, when I first bought it, I loved this bag. It was all over YouTube, tons of girls were getting it, and it was actually really hard to find. When I first wanted to get this bag, I remember it was sold out everywhere online and in stores, and I was trying to get my hand on it for the longest time, and then, you know, one day I happened to phone, and they had one in, and I went down, and I bought it right away. Um, so I feel like it's one of those things that, like, YouTube made me buy it, <laughs> because I saw all these girls styling it, but, and I also thought, it's a classic bag, I'll use it you know, it's going to be with Louis Vuitton forever, and there was a price increase when I had bought it, so I think there has been an additional price increase since I have got it. I can't remember the actual price of the bag. Let me just look it up really quickly because I saw it earlier, but currently it is, for this exact one here in Canada, it is 800 and, or sorry, 18, um, no, where is it? Sorry, that's the wrong one. Oh yes, it's the right one, sorry. It's $1,820. So it has gone up, I think, but not by very much, maybe about by $50 or so. So this is it. Um, yeah, I had all these ideas about wearing this bag when I first got it, just because I love the canvas. I thought it would look really great with just wearing it in the summer with some, like a white tee and some cut off denim shorts and sneakers or, you know, even with jean jackets. I just thought since I wear jeans often, this is the best print for me because it's super kind of casual, but I just haven't been reaching for it. So um, the main reason why I don't use this handbag is because uh, it's structured. It's fairly structured as you can kind of see, like it doesn't really smush. Now, albeit I do have a bag organizer in there, which I'll take out in a second, but it's just very structured, and so when I wear it, I only wear it crossbody. I just find that it bangs, and it hits, and it bumps into different things, and I just don't like that. <laughs> um, and it's a larger bag, as you can see, like next to my head, my hand there. It's a larger bag, so it just bumps into things, and I find that it gets sort of in the way being so structured. So if I were to take out the bag organizer, I just got this one from um, Amazon in it. Um, it was fairly cheap. I think it was like 12 bucks or so. So let me just, it's really hard to actually take out. There we go. So if I take the bag organizer out, I guess it becomes like a little bit, see how it just, it does this. It does this little sad droop and I don't like this sad droop. Um, so I like the look of it structured, but I don't like the feel of it structured just because like I said, it hits everything. And the majority of the bags in my collection are leather, and so they're very soft, and they're pliable, and they kind of mold to your body, and they're smushy. Um, whereas this one, even if I were to sideways, like, it's completely empty right now. Um, but 
I just, I don't like the way it looks when it doesn't have a bag organizer and it just looks kind of sloppy. So, um, I like the look with the bag organizer, but I just don't like how structured it then becomes. So that's the main reason why I don't use this bag. Um, because it's so structured and all the bags that I've had in my collection that are very structured and I use the term have because uh, I've sold them all. I've sold all the structured bags and now all my bags are just sort of nice and smushy ones just because I don't like when they sort of like get in the way and hit things and you know what I'm saying but um, so that's the main reason why. The second reason is for me I find it, it's pretty big for an everyday bag. I don't carry a lot of things. I carry my wallet, my mini pochette, my keys and like sometimes my phone in my bag but usually my phone is in like my back pocket um so for that like it's there's a lot of room in here and it's just empty space and then with the empty space comes like this weird kind of smushing you know what i mean and i don't necessarily like that so um maybe if i carried more things i would use it but that leads to my third reason why i don't really use this bag and that's because i wear it crossbody and i wear it like this and when I wear a crossbody, you can see that this right here, this, I guess the, the part of the bag, um, the strap that joins it, hits on my shoulder on like the bony part. And so when you're wearing a crossbody and you have things in here, it just hits this. It actually hits my collarbone. Like this part here will begin to rub against my collarbone and it hurts. <laughs> And so if you wear this for more than a couple hours crossbody, it's just the area where it hits me, it hurts just because I like this to hit like a fairly high up at a shorter length on my body. So, I mean, that's actually probably the main reason why I don't use it because it hurts. Um, I guess I could wear it on my shoulder, but again, because it's so structured, it just bangs into things. So yeah, it's just not a comfortable bag where the strap hits me. Um, I don't know if there's any way to kind of get around that, but that's just, it's, this, this hurts. It's metal digging into your collarbone. So anyway, um, and then the last reason why I don't use this so much is because it's a class, so don't get me wrong. It's a classic bag. It's cute. I know a lot of people love this bag. Um, but for me, I feel like it's one of those bags that you look at and you're like, oh, you know, there's a speedy, Meh, you know. But if you see a bag, like for me, I really love the on the go bag. When I see that bag, I'm like, oh, I love that bag. It's gorgeous, right? So that sparks that joy in me. Whereas this bag is just kind of like, eh, it's a classic. It's a speedy, you know, whatever. It's just not a bag that's really eye catching to me. So I find that Louis Vuitton has so many spectacular bags and gorgeous bags. And for me, this one's just kind of like an eh type of bag, I guess. It's more sort of functionality, I guess. I don't know, because it's a duffel. It can hold a lot. But um, that's another reason why I don't really use it. Um, oh, there's one other, one other pretty important reason. Being here in Vancouver, it rains quite often. And I love the look of the monogram. I always love the monogram over, um, for handbags over the Damier Ben. I love Damier Ben for my smaller SLGs, but I really love the look of the monogram um, for handbags. But because the leather is untreated and it develops this beautiful patina, which mine has not because I barely worn it, um, I have to just be very aware and cognizant of the weather here in Vancouver because it rains all the time. <laughs> but um, I think I've been caught once in the rain with this. Oh, I didn't mention this, this beautiful little luggage tag. My friend here, Megan, um, LVX Lux Delight, I'll link her down below. She actually gifted this to me when I had bought it because she had bought one of these um, speedies for herself too. So she got it as a gift, it's gorgeous. It just has an, an L on it, but it also has some water stains, which I'm gonna show you right now. So you can see the little stains on it right there just from being caught in the rain. Luckily, my bag itself, I don't think, has any of those water spots on it. This sort of took the brunt of it somehow, but um, yeah, you just have to be aware if you get a monogram bag and it has a lot of sort of exposed sort of leather like this, you have to worry that um, you could get some potential spotting on it or you just don't care and you wear it and you just live with it because some people don't mind that but for me I definitely mind that so I'm just mindful about when I use this um, um, and I make sure that it's not going to be raining so those are the main reasons why I don't really use the bags 
but I really love your input. What do you think I should do with this bag? Do you think I should keep it because it's a classic and I could hand it down to my niece someday or do you think I should sell it? Just what are your overall thoughts on the bag? Do you like it? How do you think I can work this into my lifestyle? Um, should I get rid of the bag and organizer? Should I keep it? I don't know. Just let me know your overall thoughts on this handbag right here. Um, I always love to hear from you and to chat with you, so please leave comments down below. And um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.